Doctor. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm good tonight. To me, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good tomorrow morning, Chuck. Uh, no, I'm being called out the door. What's up? Cook a little rice with it or something, will you? Something, you know, either rice or noodles. Okay, Timmy. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Why do you have to know about my rice and noodles? Huh? I didn't know what you were going to say. Rice and noodles. What if you'd walked in here and I was talking business? <laughs> On personal like matters, Jack, possibly. Right. You look cute today in your red shirt, huh? All right, now, what have I got to do? It's 8 o'clock. Why are we starting now? Is it crazy? Uh, they're trying to finish you, Jack and Rick. Well, know. let's get them finished. Let's get them out of here. Huh? Finished with the assignment. Beautiful. Excellent work. Great work. Can I look in your back? Yeah, you want to go in with me while I go? No. <laughs> You have to go. It's pretty neat, huh? See? Is it working? Uh, toothbrush? I'll brush my teeth for you, Viv. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always brush my teeth before I report back in for work. Why? Consideration for my co workers. It's grueling enough without a face full of lamb cutlets. Mmm. They'll be so grateful to me now. What? They'll be so grateful. They'll say, look at that chair. We let them come down. Even though it's midnight. <laughs> That's not true. It's 8 o'clock. And Lord knows. What he's been doing. He's down here and he has a fresh and sparkling breath. You see? Now, you'll have to excuse me now because I'm going to take a piss. Thank you. You get some shots of me when I'm great looking and everything. You look at fine. You better get the best cotton this girl, Jack. Let me ask you a question, Terry. We're indoors. I don't need the big coat, do I? Not some more. Good job. Good show. There's some lights out here. Oh, I keep wondering you go in there. Plain sweater men in here, so we're probably all right. Yeah, they know a lot, man. Jack. Some of really hard things. We're straight through the uh, straight on through. This may no doubt be a little lurking. What? Look, bro. Lurking is right. Make a fire. See? Shut up, shut up, shut up. 
next murder kill. <laughs> Alright, you just say that over when you're ready, Sammy. Pretty scared. Alright, okay. Good boy. Keep it, keep it. Turn out the video. Keep it. Yes, Stanley. Turn on video. Okay, baby. Come listen to me, Leon. Yeah, okay. Danny, go listen to Stanley. Good. I think the last three were quite good. I think the last two were the better, previous two. Okay, let him go. Let's play back the last four takes. Come on, man. All right, Dad. Come on, don't let's see him, man. Come on, get out of here. Get out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. All I thought about is... What my... What? What do you think about? What? All I thought about is what my mom and my dad was going to buy me. Gonna buy you for what? With all that money. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And did you do you know how much? Did you know how much you were going to be earning per week? No, really, I didn't. Did they know, tell you? I didn't know really how much I was gonna. I didn't. I didn't know really I was gonna earn any money. No, no I just thought I would just get a two dollars or so. Yeah, so. A bit of pocket money. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so now I know I probably have five or five or six hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find working with this little guy, Danny Boyden? Was it enjoyable? Was it? It was good? beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just like my son. You see tears, it will be tears of joy. Because I thank the Lord I'll be here and was able to work with such beautiful people. I'll never forget this. This is the way that I saw Boris Karloff marks his lines. I, I've copied it ever since. Then simply by picking them up and reading it turns me into a freaking monster <laughs> <laughs> that's the interjection right yep i'm gonna go now i'll i'll be back by tomorrow morning at the latest wendy yes you've got a surprise coming to you you're not going anywhere try the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what i mean I'm sorry, I have to do it. There's something wrong with you, and I had to lock you in. Wendy, open the goddamn door. I'm sorry. I really have a lot of time. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Might be better to just play it as a medium shot with the situation. Yeah, I can make it. Can you do it head down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Do that. <laughs> Try that, Jack. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole damn thing. It'll be like it never happened. You couldn't, you couldn't find some way of sort of not looking at her and looking down as you say the line. <laughs> Very good, Jack. Excellent. Right, check the gate, Doug. Now, it's not the script. I've given it to Philip. He's going to mull over it, you see. And would you like to mull over it? I'd love to mull over it, Junior. <laughs> you're not even... 
No, no, no. I mean, I have some time this evening. I, no, no, the thing I wasn't is, this won't... planning on doing anything for between midnight <laughs> and two. Is and... this just, an, just idea an idea to get started on? Very good. Filmmaking. Get these things. We make it up as we go along. Oh. Don't we, Viv? And why is this script in multicolored pages? Anything? Each time you make a new version, at first you get very methodical, and each time you make a new version, you put it in a different color. After a while, you know, you're lucky if people get copies of the changes. <laughs> it's so that you start with white, then you go yeah. to blue, then pink, and green, then wondered. yellow. But what it's, happens? It's is so that when everybody's got their script out, you can look right over and know if they've got the latest version. But of course, you but never have the latest blue version. Blue or yellow isn't significant. No. To the, mm -hmm. Just colors. I quit using my script. I just take the ones <laughs> they type up each day. <laughs> Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? No. no. <laughs> the average celebrity meets in one year ten times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. And Mr. and Mrs. Kubrick. And Mr. Kubrick. Hi. And Mr. Kubrick. And that's Mr. Val. Right. How do you do? Well, this is just supposed to be. Hi, Mr. Nicholson. How are you? Very nice to meet you. And this is all our gang. And Katie and Liza. They're so excited. And Mr. and Mrs. Piggott. How do you do? And Mr. Willer. Jack's such a big star, such a famous personality, that people do tend to be a bit sycophantic with him. But uh, it wasn't everyone, but yeah. some people did. And it wasn't entirely ineffectual. <laughs> I mean, I, I did get jealous sometimes, I must admit. Mm. Why was that? Well, it was mostly between takes, not during work. I mean, when we were actually working on a scene, that did not interfere at all. But um, on occasions when we were just sitting around or uh, about to come to work um, or standing by in our rooms, whatever. I mean, uh, there were times where I felt a bit jealous because he got very, very much attention. And I suppose I like attention. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. No, I don't want to show the From May until October, I was really in and out of ill health because the stress of the role was so great and the, the stress of being away from home, just uprooted and moved somewhere else and I had just gotten out of a relationship and um, so for me it was just tumultuous. Look at this. Pulled all my hair. I pulled hunks of hair out on the windowsill. And the back got caught. Need to trim that. Hunks of hair. Oh look. Okay. It just comes okay, out. Okay, right now, fellas. Yeah. No Russian. There's more to come, Joe. Come on. Come on, no well, I'm idea. Gonna set up anyway now, boys. Joe, come on, Joe. Oh, Get the dummy. No, we shouldn't carry him. That's right. Okay, let's go. No, Can I have no, a finder, no. please? The 18. Yeah. 18 in the tube, swing it all back in here, yeah. It's got to go outside there. What's time? 
And it is 25 to 1. Well, I don't sympathize with Shelley. You don't sympathize with Shelley. It doesn't help you, wouldn't it? Yes, it does. It does. Yes, I know. Right, okay. Uh, boys, want the video that's going to be around here? Get this all set up. Well, get us in there first, and then you lead. If, if that's true, Jack will come in from this end and stop over here. Yeah. What's he uh, Okay. And, yeah, he'd run past in that okay. direction. Lead us Danny in did. first. Come you in. Want, you want Danny in first. Yeah, yeah. now I'm, we take the 25 in your pocket <coughs> or something, because I don't know what lens we're going to want. Right? Is it? The 18 on the camera, the 25 in your pocket. And we'll bring Jack straight in, Stanley. And the 14, 5 in somebody else's pocket. Okay. Huh? Okay. Stanley, what should we do? Bring Jack straight in? Les has to bring him in. The way we went when he was there. Yeah. We've got to do his hand and all that. We've got to do his family. Do it right now. Come on. Get him in. Let anybody do it, Brian. Just get him in and let him realize we're out of time. Harry, can you check the smoke in the center, please? Are we going the right way, Les? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're coming around, Harry. We're on our way in. Don't let him run. He's not able to run in a minute. Okay. Here we go. Roll Here video. Right, turn over, please. Roll video. Speed, Danny. Don't look at your hands, Danny. Don't look at your hands when you come around. Keep it low. Come on. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep coming. More scared, Danny. Now, go. Your mum has said that when you're at home playing with your friends, you like to play a movie making. Is that true? Right. And also, my friends like to play it, but they don't really understand. Well, what do you understand about movie making? Well, they say you think you're smart, don't you? You know? Well, you know, and I admit, I admit that I do think I am. Well. <laughs> when I come up against a director who has a concept that I, maybe I don't agree with it, maybe I just hadn't thought of it or whatever, I'd be more prone to go with them than my own because I want to be out of control as an actor. I want them to have the control. Otherwise, it's going to become predictably my work. And that's not fun. Well, many parts of that were good. There were <coughs> quite a few cups, but many parts of it were very good. Let's look at it. Don't want to play it back, please. Let's look it up, boys. You didn't do it. I, 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 through here, I couldn't tell. I didn't think you got mean enough at the beginning when you said. At the begin, at the, you know, uh, the uh, transition point. point yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Shelly, right many parts that the only thing, come and look at it, Shelly. The only part clearly wrong was at the end when you said we've got to get him out of here as you got strong at the end and I think it has to be a last <clears throat> desperate begging, you know. And I still think you shouldn't jump on every single emphatic line. It looks fake. It really does. It looks like you... Uh...